I guess if you want to keep it, you better tie it down tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be really windy here across the state. Also, our temperatures are going to be about 20 degrees hotter than today, so it is going to be a weather whiplash. And then we have our next storm that's going to move in on Sunday. And with that, a cold front is going to knock our temperatures back down quite a bit, and this will bring some widespread precipitation, mostly valley rain and mountain snowfall. However, we will see the chance for the snow levels to plummet behind the cold front on Sunday, and then we're going to have active weather on and off into early to mid next week. So it's not going to be rain 24 hours a day for several days in a row, but I, I do think that um, we will have rather active weather heading into late weekend, early next week on and off. For our main weather headlines, we have winter storm warnings issued for Sunday 6 a.m. through noon on Tuesday for the first part of the storm. And this is going to bring us some tough driving conditions, mainly above about 7,500 feet for the northern mountains, 8 to 16 inches of snow, closer to 2 feet possible for the top of the Cottonwood Canyons. Right now, getting ready for bed on this Friday night, temperatures in the 50s here across Utah. As you wake up tomorrow morning, temperatures will be about 40 to 45 for much of the Wasatch front rising into the 60s at lunchtime tomorrow and then daytime highs close to 80 here in Salt Lake tomorrow. Wind will be very strong though, 50 to 60 miles per hour. So we could run into some problems with our wind gusts. And my concern for Sunday will be our snow levels. If those drop, we have a lot of things. Our trees and our plants are all blooming. And when we run into a late season storm that could lower those snow levels down to the benches and maybe even see some flurries here in the valleys, you get worried about that heavy snow on top of new fresh leaves and perhaps breaking some branches, things like that. So um, on Sunday, if you live on the benches, I would definitely be careful with where you're parking, not under any big trees if you can avoid that. And then we're going to have the chance for some uh, overnight temperatures to get right around freezing on and off through the Wasatch Front even early next week with the chance for some lake enhancement as well through Wednesday. So we really are going to see these precipitation chances rather high and things are going to be rather cold early next week. So we could see a combo of that valley rain during the day and maybe some snow mixing in at times during any heavy precipitation. I'm not expecting a whole lot here in the valleys as far as snow goes. Certainly the worst of it will be up in the mountains and there's a chance that you don't even see any snow, but I want to prepare you for that possibility for St. George, some isolated showers on Sunday and then for Vernal rather low chances as we look at the forecast for Sunday widely scattered. Sunday night scattered, Monday and Tuesday isolated. St. George 86, warm and windy tomorrow, isolated rain on Sunday, 65 to so 20 degrees cooler. And for Salt Lake, 77 tomorrow, warm and breezy. We're going to see the chance for some showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. It is likely 60 degrees there, dropping into the 30s Sunday night. Snow levels dropped about 5,000 feet behind the cold front on Sunday. Only 53 for a high Monday, low 50s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, with overnight temperatures near freezing for several nights next week.